What's up, you too? This is Bob for Sherry Company. You guys do not, man. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you guys are doing great this week, right? I'm just going to talk about today about, you know, our watch list that we talk. And I want to start out, you know, dating and, you know, sharing the performance of, you know, such watch lists. So, of course, you know, you guys, you guys get to see, you know, what we're doing, right? And, of course, like I said, I'm trying to be as transparent as what we do. So, first of all, uh, for those that haven't watched, uh, you know, where is the watch list? Well, I do present a watch list on here on the channel uh, and, of course, on the Alpha community every single Sunday, right? Uh, and I put, you know, what are these main stocks that I'm going to watch? You know, what are the stocks that I'm playing out? So, some of them, you know, really like one of them, my most confident uh, plays, right? Of course, there are more, you know, during the week. But really, you know, I put this because these are the ones that I'm, you know, looking to swing and, you know, add some more, you know, during the days, right? Uh, you know, this 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 trades tend to be sometimes weeks, uh, could be months, but you know, there are be you know, I do heavy DD on them, you know, I do my you know my thing because you know this is a very important, you know, my our job as traders is of course you know need to do research, right? Understand why we're taking a trade. You know, we need to start seeing like bigger things, right? Like baby small details that matter, and at the end of the day, they're gonna you know change the outcome of the trade. So uh let me just share with you right now really quick what we have. You know, last week uh, we talked, you know, we've been trading MGRX for a while now. And really, uh, I hope you guys understand that you can't just marry a trade forever, right? No matter what trade you're taking, right? It, if you make your money in it, you need to understand that at some point, things are going to turn down, right? Of course, you know, there are MGRX, for example, you know, they does have to, it's supposed to have a catalyst to this weekend. You know, with the ACO interview in Fox, but you know, you have to always look at the charts. You know, any stock that you're trading, the charts are gonna be there to tell you what's happening, right? MGRX, it was telling us, you know, it was ready to spike, or consolidating, right? And it did that, right? We trade this several times, and the, you know, four times to be exact, we profit from this trade and we made money, right? And I shared it with you guys. If you guys follow the levels, if you guys follow, if you guys follow what I was telling you guys, you know, during during the days, during the week, you guys made money, right? But of course, if you if you get obsessed with the trade, then that's different. You know, I can't really do anything about it, right? And, and this actually applies to anything that you take. If you you, you you have to learn to have risk management, if things go, you know, the other way, you have to get out. If you chase, then you have to get out. You know, all those things that need, need to start kicking. So, for example, you say MGRX, you know, play out. This week, I, I, I trade again, like, uh, you know, this past week, up to 197. Right, as you can see right here, we took our profits right there. And of course, you can clearly see how later, later during the week, it started closing below the 20 million and, you know, ended up uh, dropping. Of course, at this point, we'll be out, out of the trade, right? Uh, now we're just reassessing and see what we're going to do. Uh, of course, it's on my watch list, but it's not. I'm not currently in the position anymore. So let's see what it's going to do next week anyways. Uh, what does we have? You know, we have INBS. Of course, we can be correct in every single trade. And you have to understand that we won't be right every single time, right? The idea of this trade of INBS, right, of course, it needed to hold the the critical support, right, which it was to, uh, it was 263. And it didn't, it broke, right? So then our risk management is to kick in. Right, you have to learn that once certain level, you know, once certain critical levels break, you have to get out of the trade and then reassess later in the day if it you know if it really worth it. Right. In this case, you know, the, the FDA is took too long for the I mean it's taking too long to really, you know, the uh drop some positive news on in IME and IBS. So the trade didn't work the way that we want it. So that's what we have next, and that's fine. Now you know, really the, the, the key on trading is keeping our our winners bigger than our losers, right? I mean, we're going to have losers no matter what, and you have to accept that. We all have to accept that. So that's that. Uh, of course, you know, we did, we did talk about SPY, we, we talk about Tesla. SPY, of course, and I told you guys, when we were talking about this, I mentioned you guys, I mentioned you guys that, you know, I was waiting for a retracement, right? It, it, like, I, we didn't know what was going to happen, of course, but based on the bigger time frame, we were expecting a retracement, and that's what we did. Right, Tesla spy, you know, from 449s that it was, right? Uh, it bounced a little bit, and of course, he ended up retracing, right? So, that's that, you know, there are things that they're gonna play out, 
and there's some other things that are not going to play out, but we have to learn how to deal with it, right? There's, of course, you know, when I, you know, we talk about this, I did told you guys about uh, there, there, there was a scenario, there were a couple of scenarios that they could happen, right? And he actually played one of them, you know, rally towards earnings. And of course, because we do not know what's going to happen on earnings, right? Because yeah, this is what just don't gamble earnings. I mean, you don't have to do that. You know, if you really want to gamble, go to the casino, but don't gamble, you know, just throw in your money to see if you're going to be right or not, if it's going to go up or down. So Tesla, you know, broke down on earnings, but it did rally towards it. So that was one of the scenarios. If you play, then you made money. Now with Netflix, uh, of course, as well, it played out the way that we, you know, when we put it in there, right? When we talking about, we told you guys that I was waiting on Netflix to see if he's gonna, if he was gonna reclaim the trend, if he's gonna break the twenty minute rally again towards resistance. That's exactly what it did, right? So we follow them with the levels, right? Once he did reclaim the trend, if they rally, right, and he actually went and made new highs. Of course, let it, you know, down through earnings, and that's. That's like I said, nothing we can do about it. We can't, no, nobody knows that it just happened. But again, at that point, we were, uh, we were out of the trade already. So that was a money trade as well. All right, A A G L E. We, we talk about this, right? Remember when I told you guys that it was constantly tapping the level, right? It was just retesting and retesting the level. So at some point it was going to break. And of course, if you can see that, once he break out, we had this nice breakout towards 0 0.72, 0 0.72 from that uh, 57 resistance. So we have a nice gain right there. Of course, if you if you say if you follow it, if you play it out, that was the money move. First, you gotta take profits, you gotta move on. You can't just you know, you know thinking it's gonna keep going up, right? Because if they move up and it drop down, and this, the thing I like it about this one is because, like I said, it can it was having a lot of institutions. Right on and like loading on this, right? Currently, there is still a lot of institutions loading up. You know, they all the institutions own like 113.79%, right? So it's just we have when we see this kind of things, you know, we already know that the positive move, you know, is gonna happen, it's about to happen. So we, you know, we had that one that was a good trade, right? XXII, man. I'm telling you, we were talking about this and I put it out there for you guys because yeah, I wanted to share the knowledge, you know, I wanted to share the well. I want to put it, you know, the, the, the you know the money moves right there. And if you guys did it, this thing was insane, man. Look at this thing. We talk about this when it was around $240, 239 And what it did, man, this week, Jesus, man, went to 6.89. We bank on this. I hope you guys did it. Right. This is only about, you know, the place I did and they share here on the YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are banking. I hope you guys took a trade. It did crazy things, right? Uh, there was another one that I had in the watch list, but you know I didn't share on the YouTube channel, anyways. But it didn't play out, anyways, because he never broke the level. And I told you guys, when when a trade it doesn't break the level, then you don't have to take it. You have to wait for confirmation. You don't want to anticipate a trade because this is why fake calls happen, and you don't want to get faked out, of course. So now, of course, you know you guys know tomorrow I want to release my new watch list, so just keep an eye on it, uh, and see what see what we're gonna do this week. We this week. We are very busy. We, I, I believe, I just checked the earning, you know, earning calendar, and we have big tech reporting. I believe Microsoft, Google, Meta. You know, it's gonna be a busy week, man. And then, you know, with I'm bullish on tech, really. You know how they're being just performing based on AI. So let's see what we do this week, of course. But we have to be prepared to bullish scenarios to the upside and to the downside, right, guys? So we're gonna do that, right? And uh, let's see what we got next week as well. Another thing I just wanna, you know, tell you guys. This is the big, you know, we are one week to end July. So you have to go go over your performance and see how what are you, how are you doing, you know? We have, you guys have one more week to end it up the month green if possible, or at least try to reduce those losses. But you have to, you know, journal your trades. You have to go back to see, like, analyze every single trade that you take, even if it's a winner or if it's a loser. Understand what are you doing right and what are you doing wrong? Because if you don't know that, then you can correct the wrong, you know, the bad things. When this is part of the process and this is really the part of the improvement. You have to do it. If you don't do it, I'm telling you, you are being lazy, man, because I'm telling you, the, the success is just consistency, profitability, right? Ain't going to come. Just nobody's going to hand it to you. You have to earn it. And the only way to do it is you have to work for it. And the only way to do it is putting the work into it. You know, you have to do that.
right? I know it's hard. I know, you know, I know, I know we all have busy lives. So let me, even I myself have busy lives. You know, I have kids and, you know, and there's a lot of things happening out of trading world, but, you know, we have to find the time to, you know, analyze our trades, go with our performance, you know, try to become better. Even myself, every single time I try to become a better trader, right? Because I have mistakes too. We all have mistakes, right? Nobody's 100% accurate. So, but the thing is, and I will tell people, they, you know, I will tell my students and, you know, especially in my mentorship group, there are no excuses. You know, if somebody makes an excuse, right, it's because they don't want to do it. Because I always believe that when you really want to do something, you're always going to find time to do it, right? But if you really don't want to do it, you will find an excuse, right? We make excuses. We, the excuses are not there. We just make that up. We make them every single one, whatever we want. You're just going to make, oh, no, I'm busy. Oh, no, I'm tired. Oh, no, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do this. Isn't that right? But in reality, if you are an organized people, you can just, you know, rent your schedule. All right. Do whatever you got to do, but you find time to do it. Right. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, this is just uh, something that you guys, you know, something to think through the weekend. And then again, I'm going to see you guys some more video. So anything, if you got any questions, let me know. You know, just throw me a message or just tag me in the chat. You know, just leave him and leave me a comment here on the video. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, like you guys know me. I'm always active, so trying to do my best to reach out to you guys. Right. I hope you guys like these videos, recaps. Again, you know, just psychology. I was trying to, you know, get to you guys because psychology is a very important part of trading, right? And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We do have more things coming up to this, you know, to the channel, of course, you know, to place more and more ideas, you know, better recaps and then, you know, better being videos coming out, of course. So, don't forget to also check the link in the description, guys. If you guys want to sign up to the Alpha community, just that's where I have my trace 24-7 on my guidance. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a nice night, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's watch list. Okay, guys, take care. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Alpha Trader coming out yesterday. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals, that's not the you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money, all right? So see you guys.